Welcome to another episode of The Sarah Scoop Show. I'm your host, Sarah Rollman, here to give you the scoop. Oh, Mary, what is it like for you? Joined in on this Netflix show on Selling Sunset, and then, yeah. I mean, I'm sure your life has had to change. Whirlwind, for sure. It's just so busy. Um, I mean, trying to balance, like, real estate and just, like, the stuff from the show like interviews and PR and and yeah, all kinds of stuff it's just it's crazy outside of our office even it, like we're trying to work and it's like one person after another after another that comes up they're like please can I take a picture from outside the windows and we're like okay but I love it, that you're like that though because <laughs> so many people I got a ton of messages of yeah. people just relating to you so much like how you act with the drama and everything going on. I think everyone handles things in a different way. And mm -hmm. um, I, I always have to think about, uh, I don't know, it's just who I am anyway. But then I also have to think about my clients and, and my family and stuff like that. I'm like, even if I wanted to say something like really bad, normally that's not in me to do that anyway, but it's in front of the world and where my, my mom and my son and everybody would see that and they're like, <gasps> so I just, I would never, I would never do that. Plus it's just, I, I don't think anybody should ever really mean to each other. I mean, I, I treat other people with respect and you'll get respect in return. Mary, how did you first get involved with all of this? Like even back to real estate, what sparked that interest for you? A long time ago, I, when my son was younger, I just found I wanted to move every year just because I loved the process of, of looking for a new place and, and yeah. it, like online and then going out and seeing them and finding that perfect place or perfect for the time. Um, and, and then I, I was uprooting our lives. It was so expensive to do that. Mm -hmm. And then I just finally decided why not just, you know, do it for other people, I still get to do the same thing. And then I get to stay put. Were you always a part of the Hollywood Hills market, the California, LA real estate? No, I started in the beach cities. It's like um, um, the South Bay. And so <laughs> it's four like days, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, um, that area. That's where I started. It, that is very, very different than the Hollywood Hills. Um, like when I came here, first of all, I had to find new clientele because I mean, you just don't yeah. want to see friends. And then the homes are different. You have to relearn everything because at the beach, you don't have to learn about what makes this property um, more valuable than the one right next door because they're faced like this. And one has this view, one has this view, this is on this hill, side of the hill and right like on the other side of the street, that's less uh, valuable um, by mm -hmm. a million dollars. I mean, because like the views aren't the same. It's not, it's, it was just crazy to learn. You were already working, doing real estate, and then the show opportunity comes to all of you. Jason had been approached a couple different times, mm -hmm. uh, just from, I can't remember who it was, um, but like a couple different times for shows, and he didn't like the um, idea of the show, and he just didn't think it was worth the risk. Um, he'd already built uh, a really great brand. He was mm -hmm. And he didn't think the benefit out, outweighed the risk. So um, when Adam came to us, he had a different vision and we kind of liked what he had to say. And we didn't get the feeling that it was going to be a kind of Bravo style, um, like cat fight kind of thing. Although, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we did get some of that. <laughs> I mean, I think we've disappointed ourselves enough, but the fans are loving it. <laughs> Pardon me. But, um, yeah, but so he, we just went along with it and he, we did a sizzle reel and, and it, we, he pitched it to a couple of different networks. We almost thought it was dead in the water. No one wanted to pick it up. Um, cause they said they had too many reality shows. They didn't really like see that that was beneficial or something. I don't know for the networks. And then ultimately Netflix picked it up and, and that was about probably like six months afterwards. We thought. We thought it just wasn't going to go and they picked it up and then we started filming. While you do get a little bit of drama, I feel like you guys are also very like women that are in empowerment positions. You're showing like you can have a career, you can have friends, love all of it. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, what's happened, uh, we've had to learn along the way 
uh, well, I mean, none of us knew what we didn't know what we just thought we were doing real estate. And then everything mm -hmm. happens with the show when cameras are on when cameras turn off with PR or like with all the um, just all the interviews and everything if we're not communicating. I mean, it's gotten, you know, things have gotten bad. So we've all, you know, we've all gotten back on board and, and trying to figure out this crazy new world we're in. Oh, speaking of the interviews, the things, the things getting miscommunicated, what's your friendship like with Christine right now? Um, it's better than it was. Um, yeah, we, uh, we hadn't talked until a couple of days ago for quite a few months. And um, I reached out to her um, because of an article that I saw and I was like, Oh, okay, even though I disagree with a lot of things that have happened, I understand where you're coming from on this. So I'm going to go ahead and reach out and see if, see if I can help at all. And um, so then we spoke in person as well. We FaceTime spoke in person and, and it went really well. Um, I, I, I hope that this is a change, but I mean, it's, it's hard right now to, to really tell, but I, I really hope that it's going to be um, a change and that, we keep our promises to, to talk to each other and not to everybody else. People are very invested in your friendship and also your relationship with Romaine. I also got a ton of questions on like, did she forgive him? Have they rebuilt trust? Like, <laughs> are they still together? All of that. Absolutely. Um, and that was the unfortunate part of the show where they see, you guys see um, the drama that happened, the beginning of it, and then there's no resolution because they're, I mean, in all fairness, there were more important things going on than us getting in a fight, you know, because um, he didn't do anything and we worked it out. But with Christine's wedding and Chriselle's divorce, mm -hmm. I mean, who wants to see a petty little fight between Romaine and I? So, I mean, production did the right thing, but it was cut out. So we are still together and very happy. Yeah. So there's their answers because everyone's like, what happened with them? <laughs> <laughs> we're still together. We just don't see each other very much because we're both working um, just such long hours. You always seem like you are really able to be there for people on the show, even with the stress of your career. I mean, if you, I hopefully you can see the comments that are coming in, but they're like, you're a loyal friend. I need a loyal friend like you uh, with everything going on. Like, how do you know what to do or who to trust or? <laughs> no, I just, I kind of go with, um, with my gut and, and mm -hmm. I just, and I guess that's how I just live my life is, is I always want to treat others like I would want to be treated. So even if, um, even if someone does something, I'm friends with them. I can still, if you're doing the wrong thing, I'll talk to you about it. I'll tell you that, but I'm going to have the other person's back. We're, if you don't want to be friends with me, fine. But like the whole fight thing in season one, I was like, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I just kind of, I, I keep quiet most of the time, but, um, you know, I stand my ground. Yeah, I just I let you know where I stand. And if you like it, fine. If you don't, fine. One other thing that people were curious about back into like, how do you mentioned getting into real estate? They want to know if you had advice. So when I first got in, I did have a mentor. And that's why I, I firmly, firmly believe that uh, I would have no idea what uh, what I was doing. Like when <laughs> I first came, I got hired and I was at this place, Shorewood Realtors. I don't I think they were bought out by so somebody else I'm not sure now but um but I was there and I had this amazing mentor and she, I realized how much you don't learn on the exam like she's like okay I, I got a client went to an open hand and I was like oh they want to write an offer <laughs> how do I how do I do that right. and I was like how do I where do I get the form and back then it was like paper forms not even like online so I yeah I, I learned that way but if I didn't have her guiding me through telling me why you do things how you do things like just the whole process you just don't know until someone tells you and in a lot of these brokerages I think the agents are unfortunate they they almost have no hope for success well now I guess it's different because there are tutorials online but back mm -hmm. then there wasn't that's still not a good, uh, like the best way. You need a mentor to really guide you through. Um, and I've been lucky um, that when I first started and then when I got back in with Jason, it's a whole different area, need new clients. So, so uh, I- with, um, Jason, what do you think of like the constant, oh, Mary's Jason's favorite. I am his favorite in <laughs> personal life. <laughs> but um, 
but in in business, no, he uh, he doesn't give me hardly anything. He helps everybody when mm -hmm. when we first start out because I mean, how else are you going to have a listing? He'll bring us on the listing right when we started so that you can ha do open houses, meet buyers, and start building. But now I, all my escrows right now, they're all my own. They're, well, there's one that was from a long time ago that he brought me on. Now they're selling a condo and buying a new house. And so that was originally someone. But, but no, he doesn't just like hand me everything. Everything I've got, I've, I've done. And most of them are all like client referrals. Yeah, see, so we cleared that up for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I want to make sure that we ask some of the questions that people submitted. Okay. I did have a lot of people asking too about your workout routine and your red lip gloss. Uh, I don't know which one it was. Um, I have so many lip glosses. Like I have a whole drawer full. The one is from Smash. Uh, that's the one I wear most of the time. I don't know what color it is though. Right before quarantine, I started getting into hot yoga and hot Pilates. I used to do it a while ago. I loved it. And then I just decided for my health and my sanity. Yeah. <laughs> I to like do some yoga and hot yoga is just amazing. So um, that's what I was doing before and I will go back to it afterwards. Yeah, you know, you guys are wearing heels. You're all dressed up. You're showing these really amazing homes. Is yeah. that what it's like? To be honest, I mean, we, I dress exactly the same mm -hmm. uh, on, on camera or off. Um, uh, the heels, I do take them off when I'm in the office. When I go out, I have them on when I'm showing properties. But I, I try to wear them in the office sometimes, but most of the time I just kick them off, put my flip flops on. Doing the real estate business, you guys are pretty much working 24 seven, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you're, if you're not, then, then you're not fulfilling your full potential. Um, I, I get so angry when I call client or call agents and they're like, oh, it's Sunday, this is family day. I'm like, you, you realize you're a real estate agent, right? There are open houses on Sunday. This is like the busiest time. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then uh, if it takes a day or two to get back, I'm like, no, no, no. Like my client wants to see it now. We need to respond. So it's frustrating. I mean, but for the most part, most agents work early in the morning till pretty late at night. I think I have probably an extreme schedule of when I talk to, I've talked to clients at two, three o'clock in the morning before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What has been some of your best memories of filming the show Selling Sunset? My wedding. Did you ever dream that you were going to be in a spot where your wedding was being televised for everyone? No, it, it's so crazy. Um, but then seeing ourselves in People Magazine, I was like, what? I was like, my wedding is in People Magazine. This is insane. Did you ever think like you guys, you know, you started doing this, your season one. Did you think it was going to lead to season three. Will there be a season four? We don't know yet. Um, so we need to watch, binge, keep binging. <laughs> um, that we know, we'll find out in a couple weeks, but it's all based on ratings. So, um, so yeah, just keep watching and, and keep, it, keep the ratings high and we'll get season four. For reaching people all around the world, what is that like? Yeah. <laughs> It, I mean, it's just surreal. I, I can't even explain it. Like, I, I always made the joke, like, but I would meet people 10 times before. And I'm like, hey, how are you? Doing? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm like, we've met 10 times. Like, what? And no one ever remembered me. Remain <laughs> around, they remember him, like, like immediately. And they remember everything. And then now it's like the entire world, like, knows, I'm like, this knows who you are. Yeah. Um, yeah. And a lot of people, I feel like you're just really relatable on the show, off the show. So thank you for that. Just kind of like overcoming things that maybe didn't go exactly like you wanted in life. You got to just look at the positive um, and, and mm -hmm. realize that it, if it, it didn't work out, I think for Chrishell, this is harder because um, trying to figure out what happened at the same time as, as trying to move forward. But sometimes you, when you go through something hard like that, you just have to look at it. But this isn't what, this wasn't where you were supposed to be. This wasn't what kind of is your path. So start moving forward just do whatever it is, make yourself happy and just keep surrounded by the positive people in your life, the people that bring you up and make you feel good. Um, time heals. What can we expect Mary from you? Just like, personally, projects you might have, things going on um, that people can kind of follow along and keep, keep up with you. 
I'm in six escrows right now. I'm closing two this week, um, showing some pretty, pretty big properties. Um, hopefully those will turn out. Um, and then Romaine and I want to eventually, once we slow down and can actually look for a house for ourselves, <laughs> um, we want to look for one and, and start doing a remodel. And when you are watching the show, do you know what's going to be filmed? We normally see it about a week before you do. Okay. Normally we go in to, um, to Lionsgate, to the production, to a theater. <laughs> I'll watch it together. That's what we did season one. And then season two, I can't remember why, but uh, we ended up watching it um, on our own. There's like this link where, so we could see it and be prepared for what. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. I was wondering if you were prepared or you. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause we've been for so long. We have no idea. And, and sometimes we'll watch it. We're like, I forgot that happened. Um, and so they'll send us a link to watch it before so we can prepare ourselves. We're still kind of processing sometimes by the time you guys see it. <laughs> what I love about the whole concept of the show and everything is you really are realtors who are doing this. I would love to represent anybody that wants to buy a home. Thank you, Mary. I have loved chatting with you. you Thank you so much for watching and being a fan. It's so cool. And everyone mean needs to go watch it because we need a season four. <laughs> yeah, we do. I know. I want, I want to give it to you guys. I, everyone keep watching and, and hopefully we'll get it. Thank you so much, Mary. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me and I can't wait to keep following along on your journey. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Sarah Scoop Show. Make sure to check back every week for more exclusive interviews and head to sarahscoop.com for more of the scoop.